Hey everybody, Anna Spectacular here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In this episode, we're gonna go through Union Cave. Now, throughout this uh, cave, you're gonna see me walking into a lot of rocks. Well, I'm looking for hidden items that will sometimes be there. But up here we find an X attack. And as we walk away, we get a random encounter. Alright, up here we got a fire breather. Caves aren't scary. Caves are great. And then here's just me failing at moving. Alright, I switched to Centret so it can uh, get some levels. The reason I caught it was so I could level it up to a furry. And over on this rock, we find an X speed. And over here, we find TM39, which contains Rock Tomb. Like I was saying, I need to uh, level up Center to 15 so it'll level up into a or evolve into a furret. Furret can learn six of the seven HM moves, so it's really useful. And up here, we find an X defend. Alright, let's go back to the main floor. I really like that effect. You know, the uh, squares coming into each other. Alright, down here we got a hiker. Who was really easy. Now, the reason I've got center up front is that... Remember the strategy I told you earlier? Put the Pokemon out in front, and then switch to another one immediately. That way the first one gets half the experience. Another hiker. Yeah, I am headed to Zip. And we get a phone call. From Wade. Remember that guy up on uh, Route 31? Who's gonna give us some berries. Just gotta go back up there and talk to him. I'll talk to him later. Alright, another fire breather. Yeah, I hate supersonic too. <laughs> I flamed out. Alright, and down here we find another great ball. More failing and moving. And over here we get a potion. Always handy to have a potion. Uh, this guy. I hate collectors. Just look at him. He's so weird looking. All right. Uh, nothing over here, except for a random battle. Alright, we're almost out. Furry, er, Sentry got hit with a critical and got knocked out. I was two seconds from finishing the cave and got knocked out. That's just a piss off. Alright, finally made it. But when we get to Route 33, it's raining. That's right, guys, it's always raining on this route. So fire poker or fire types are weakened and water types are raised. Alright, and a pink apricorn. And over here, a black apricorn. Alright guys, we're almost to Azalea Town. Just one more thing to go. That hiker over there. So let's switch to Wooper and get ready. Huh, yeah, I got more zip than you, old man. Now, afterwards, he's gonna ask you to switch phone numbers with him. You want to do this. Because he can call you and tell you that there's a swarm of Dunsparce. Dunsparce isn't that great of a Pokemon, but... Eh, it's a rare. Alright, we're finally in Azalea Town. Hey, it's a Team Rocket Dude. 
Well, I wonder what they're doing here. Hey, he kicked that old man. He's not the jerk, is he? Oh, it's unsafe. Why is it unsafe? Sure, you're a great Samaritan. Alright, guys, well, we're finally here in his egg town. I just healed up my Pokemon. Let's take on the gym. Hey, there's a Team Rocket guy in the way. Slowpoke Tail? What? Didn't that cost like a million dollars? No, I'm not glad you told me. I already knew about it. And it doesn't sound tasty at all. Alright, and over here, we get a white April. Alright, to progress, we gotta go into this house. Through this door. No, he's not going to make some balls. And then he talks about Team Rocket, and he rushes off to go save the Slowpoke. Do you have to say anything, little girl? I'm so sorry you're so lonely. Oh well. So now we have to go back to the Slowpoke well outside town. Huh, the guy's gone. Hope Kurt's okay. Down we go. To the Slowpoke well. Oh, hey, Kurt. Ow, that's gotta hurt like hell. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, send a 10-year-old boy to deal with dangerous armed adults. Alright, guys, our first rocket grunt battle ever. Ah, man, that's gotta hurt. But, it's a rocket grunt. So, nothing to it. Alright, had to go kill Sentret. Got hit with another lucky critical. And a female rocket grunt. Alright, but over here, we got a super potion. Alright. It's like a potion, but super. Every time I go through this one part, I can never do it in one shot. Alright. Last rocket drum. Well, how's your rep gonna be ruined? Your team rocket. You disbanded three years ago. But hey! Cyndaquil leveled up to level 14, which means it's evolving. Cyndaquil evolves into... Quill Lava. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to go heal up the Pokemon Center, and I'll be right back. All right, it's time to take on Executive Proton. Ha, let's go, punk. All right, using music from Tales of Asperia, aim for the top. All right, Proton will start out with a Zubat. Not too hard. I faced a level 8 Zubat on that cutaway Pokemon Center. The only thing that might give you trouble is if it uses Supersonic, it'll get you confused, which can make you hurt yourself, but other than that, it's nothing. Using Sentret just so uh, it gets a lot of experience, because once it reaches level 15, I will never have to level it up again. Alright, and the third quick attack does it for Zubat. Alright, good job, Sentret. Alright, now he's gonna set out a coffin. Well, of course there's someone who doesn't agree with you. Just look at your fashion style. Wow, that sounded really gay. Alright, we're gonna switch to Quilava. Ha! Take that. Now, Coffig can poison you, but that's really it. It can use poison gas and smog, which could poison you, and other than that, it really can't do too much. Not that hard of a boss fight at all. Alright. Kulaba, it's time to finish this. Finish him with Quick Attack! All right, we beat him. 
All right, guys, we beat Proton. So yeah, they were broken up three years ago, and he says that we're not too much of a threat. But we just beat this guy, their executive, the boss. Well, then Kurt comes, apparently he's better now. Cough, cough. And we get back to Kurt's house. Huh, Red. Name sounds familiar. Ah, oh, well, we'll hear a lot about Red later. But he gives us a fastball. It's a special kind of Pokeball that'll go over in the next episode. Now, remember all those Abercorns we've gotten? Kurt can make them into specific Pokeballs. And when he does, he'll call you and tell you that it's ready. Alright guys, well that's all the time I have for this episode. See ya!